Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this. We got the bevels to start on, which, woof, if you watched the last video at the end, I told you, man, I am nervous about this. I've never tried to hollow grind something. I mean, I've done recurves, but I always followed it, and they were a lot bigger knives like this, you know? <laughs> and this was a compound grind, so it was a lot easier. I can do compound grinds a lot better than I can do recurves. But, I mean, I, then I can do hollow grinds. <laughs> I'm, I'm so uh, caught up, I can't even speak. So, I'll make sure to put my website up in the cards, and uh, no more stalling. Let's just get to it. So, I'm just going to pull it like this for the regular. But I was just thinking, how am I going to break these 90s? This is a Warren, I think, 120 or something. I'm just going to hang the belt over and just hit it on the edge. We'll see. Taking this one step at a time, you're learning as much as I am. <laughs> One day my glasses keep fogging up and this belt's shot. Good lord. But it's working. I always say when you're breaking the 90s, there's no use to use a new belt. So if you don't know how to break the 90s and all that or, or mark all this stuff out, I'll put the video Knife Making 101 up in the cards. Because, uh, yeah, that shows everything. I'm just skipping a few steps because I do all these tutorials. But man. I don't know if it's because I'm sweating because I'm nervous about this grind or my mask or what, but whew, I had to get my I always I had to get my extra strong glasses in the first place. Now they're fogging up. I'm gonna start here like always. That way I have room to bring it back after heat treat. How am I gonna mark this? I know what. I am just gonna draw it. I've learned with hollow grinds you can't really get that nice fat swoop. All right, there's our target for uh, preheat treat. It's working, but uh, you can see the different hollows. It's, yeah, it's not working as good. Well, uh, we'll see. It's right tight right here. I still got something to come down here, so that might be the problem too. But it's working. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta remember, I kind of had to push it in here and, and keep this up a little bit and, and get it down to there and get it nice and even. And then, you know, once you get it to where you want, you gotta pull back. And same with over here, I kind of split it into two. And then I pulled it all the way through. Yeah, not bad. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I gotta show Instagram. <laughs> All right, we need to bring. That's what I thought. Just needs to come up just a little bit. But uh, we'll do that with the 120. Woo! I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> All right, 120. Let's do it. <laughs>
Now this hand's harder because, you know, I can hold it here and here and get this line and here even. But this one I'm kind of trying to figure out. That's the good thing about preheat tree grinding. You have to figure out, you know, what's going on with what. Let me put some oil on this so it don't rust. 52100, it loves the rust. You would think the chromium in it would help, but <laughs> once you get the higher belts, it's fine. And I tried putting baking soda in my water, but I think my water's a little rusty and needs change too. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try heat treating tomorrow or the next day. Well, it'll probably be a couple days. Who knows when I'm getting this edited, so it's probably a couple days ago by the time this goes up. So I kinda had to hybrid this. I got one line right down the middle, and uh, I got Dykem on this side. If you watch that last video that I did where I uh, did the six inch grinding wheel, I'm a little nervous because I messed up in the middle. But this doesn't really have a middle, so maybe I'll, I'll luck out. <laughs> I'm just gonna break the 90s on the edge here on the straights, and then uh, we'll put the 10 inch wheel on. Hey, right. fingers crossed. <laughs> brand new 50 I got the belt hanging over a little bit I'm not worried about coming back here you can see I already started this for Instagram so I'm just gonna bring it down and be real careful about where I put pressure and all that yeah see where we go from here actually I take that back I'm gonna hold the blade up right here when I get to 120 I'll cut this in and if we have to bring it up I'll bring it up but I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do this right here to here and then do that to there and then bring it all the way through. Just because this is such an awkward point. Wish me luck. Now we just pull it back a little bit as we're pulling through. Do the other side and then we'll put the 120 on and try to get this curved in and, and, and figure it out. <laughs> Woo! No moans or nothing. <clears throat> so I don't have to go up to 1200. He just wants it two-tone. So I might even only go to 220 on this. We'll see. down 50s down see that's what I'm worried about this side because I have to as I pull it through I have to pull down here and push here at the same time I'll have to kind of use this arm to ah, we'll figure it out here so that's why he saw me just hitting it right here and I evened up the belt because I knew I wasn't coming back here and I'm just going you know I showed this trick when I'm hollow grinding or I mean I showed this trick when I'm flat grinding but uh, if you keep these lines straight no matter how you go they're gonna be straight this side 
You know, if you want to keep your knife like that, the, the, the lines will be like this. And you turn it like that, and the lines will be like that, if that makes sense. So look at these lines, how they're going, and that'll tell you how you have them over here. I thought I was getting messed up a little bit right there, but I think we got it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it flat, but I'm gonna pull it back here. And then we'll go to 120 and cut all that in. Get that 120 in and cut these back and see what we can do. <sighs> so since this is kind of hard to figure out, I just cut, took my calipers. There, it's you know at the back of the line, and it's kind of there. This one's a little bit lower, but I think we'll just have to uh, kind of go with it. Just kind of. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap it in like I do all my other ones and uh, let it ride. I might not even go up to that line. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm just going to play it by ear. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I know this side cuts pretty good because it did this. So I'm gonna try flipping it over and see if that works. I noticed sometimes on belts one side cuts better and I, this side seems to cut good. So I hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, all that's left is A65. I'm just gonna do a montage. Well, I'll just undo the A65 and uh, we'll see where we're at. I noticed right here was getting really thin compared to here and here. I had to go back down to 120 off camera and, and lift this up and just hit it down to here and then hit it here. It's a little thick right here, but I think that'll be all right. The rest is, is even. I just had to have like a thick belly right there. I, I don't know any other way to do it. So now I'm just bringing this down right here with the with the uh, Dorak. I'm glad I caught that. It was. 
It was like razor sharp. I had to break it out, break out the uh, horizontal and shape it a little bit more because man, whoo. So I got it to here. The thing is, man, if you cut in here, you're gonna cut this down to zero. So I had to go back and bring this up higher and take the swoop out just to make them even. Then I remember Scotch Bright. Scotch Bright, if you're not doing hummers, will make all this out smooth because it's thick. Hopefully. I figured I better put this on camera. I was going to do it off camera, but uh, I did, I'm just going to touch it. I'm spitting all over myself. <laughs> I'm so excited. Man, woo, this has been touch and go. I'll tell you, this is one of the hardest bevels I've ever done. But you can see it's kind of uneven there, but it's nice and smooth. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping the Scotch Bright as I stutter works. Let's do it. I think that'll look good once I, I uh, do the two-tone, but man, woo! <laughs> Everything looks nice and straight. Good lord. Woo! There's a learning experience for you. <laughs> man, my heart dropped when I got here. This was kind of fat, and this was kind of fat. And this was like sharp, it almost cut me. That's how I found it. Woo! Man, ain't no jig gonna teach you how to do stuff like that. I'll tell you what, that's why you gotta learn freehand. <laughs> so that's about it. I still gotta put the magnet on it and hit it on the flats. I'm just gonna hit the scotch right on the flats. Then the next video, I guess we'll hit it with the Caswell's black oxide or I think I'm gonna do the black oxide to make it blacker because that's what he said, one and two tone. Then we'll take the scotch bright and hit these again. I'm just glad I got these bevels. The bevels are done. Other than uh, taking the scotch bright to him to clean off the two tone, I'm not touching them again. <laughs> Woo! Leave me some comments. Let me know what you would do in this situation. Like I said, if you guys use jigs and you wanna do stuff like this, you'll never get it done with a jig. Woo! Man. That was scary. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Like I said, my website's up in the cards. It's the first one down in the description with Amazon, all that good stuff. I've got knives on my website. i got shirts on there. Let's see, I'll put the rest of this build right here. I'll put Knife Making 101 right here. My subscribe button's right here and my website's right there. Hope you're all having a great day, and as always, take it easy.